ladies and gentlemen of the internet, and welcome to our first impressions of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2! Woo! We got a copy here, provided by the lovely publishers at Bandai Namco. Brief, uh, brief, uh, little, uh, covering all of our bases here. Yeah. Disclaimers! Brief disclaimer, uh, I'm in the game. I know people that worked on the game in various stages of development, so... Take that there out. you Take go. That Collusion! Exactly. I also know quite a few people that work on Dragon Ball and all things related to it. There are all the disclaimers that you need to know where our... Yeah. 14 four star, yeah. you know Dragon Ball stuff. Yeah. We're, we're, we love Dragon that. Ball. Yeah. That being said, uh, you guys have had more time to play this than I have. Uh, yeah. We got our copies yesterday. So we're yes. going to hop in with my character. This will not be the character for our playthrough, yada, yada, yada. Which starts tomorrow, yeah, proper. This, yes, this is this is my personal character that I was playing with from home, trying to give myself all the info I could on this. Uh, now, before we I'm, I'm going to try to like play the role of the moderator here, just because I, I have not, had, like, outside of the beta, I've done nothing. And I hear they've even changed some stuff from the beta. They did. You guys have had a few hours, uh, how many hours combined experience with this game so far? Well, maybe Between 9 and 10. Yeah, nine and ten combined, because I would say I was playing for about 4 or 5 hours, you were playing for about 3 or 4 maybe last night. So yeah. this so. is a true, true first impressions of things that we're noticing that are improved over Xenoverse 1, things that either were overlooked and still needed to be improved, things that might actually not be as good in Xenoverse, like in Xenoverse 2 as yeah. were in Xenoverse 1. Uh, let's start off All with all sorts the, of things. Let's start off with the hub world here. So hey, we're at the hub world. <laughs> and uh, if you got the day one edition, you get this cool little pole to float yeah. around on. Uh, and and I, I'm gonna throw this out there right away. Hub world, immediate improvement. I love the new hub world. Yeah, as compared to what it was in the uh, Xenoverse one, like there's a whole lot there, there's a whole lot more Easter eggs to it. There's more to explore, and eventually, when you get your flying license, which I'm guessing you haven't yet, I have not. I have not uh, you'll be able to better. fly around. Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't take to the end. Considering there are like NPCs like floating around in the sky frequently. Of course, I'm not seeing any right now, but typically there are. Uh, I'm assuming there are ways to go up and talk to them. Yeah, yeah I got to admit. <laughs> fucking fly it would solve problems like that. Yeah, this um... You can't fly without a license, even <laughs> if it means you're gonna die. So, uh, I want to put up real quick for those who may not have played Xenoverse 1, or just or just somehow just seeing Xenoverse 2 and you're interested, Xenoverse 2 does advertise itself well be like this action RPG, you go around, you level up, you make a character in Dragon Ball world, and you go around through time and... it and tries to disguise... And, and it tries to disguise itself as a fighting game, but it's really... It's it's an RPG fighting game. It is if an that makes yeah. Any it's sense. A, it's an action RPG that has a little few fighting game elements to it that are kind of slipshod here and there. And it feels like if they you, did add a little bit of technicality to it because as you were you you guys were yeah. telling me a little earlier about like the little training mode and how like mm -hmm. some combos require very specific timing. Now yeah. on one hand I see that as being. You know, oh look, they're trying to add a bit of like technicality to it. Nice generic saying in the background. Yeah, by the I was way. gonna say if you if you played Xenoverse One, uh, your hero, uh, you you transfer him forward, you get all of his stuff and moves, uh, and they make a big old hologram. I guess it's not a statue if it's a hologram, but get this cool little standee here. Every time it loads back in, he does a different pose, so you get to see him doing different stuff. Right now, I got Grimace and Saiyan Man. Uh, cause that was my hero from the first game, I just made a generic ass thing cause I wanted to turn into a Super Saiyan. Like every, like, like, like every boy's dream. Like, like, yeah. like every, like every But now everyone Saiyan. can transform, so it's not just the Saiyans who get that fun. Yeah, and we'll go yeah. into that a bit later. I mean, you don't have your transformation unlocked here, but we, uh, we can see a little bit of it in our, uh, beta playthrough where we played as the lovely little Puddin. Yeah, we um, show off uh, the booze have a transformation. Which is really race. bad, and hey, I, yeah, I really sure. hope that they fix that. At and, some point in time, yeah, like every every race now has something unique to them. Then yeah, the next every race grow that, large. The humans get a uh, flying nimbus or power pole, however you want to refer to it. Yeah, the Saiyans obviously go like Super Saiyan one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. uh, Frieza's race can go turn gold. Yes, and that, yeah, that, that's all. Of them. Yeah, and the Boos get like a purify form, which turns them into Kid Boo. Yeah, it just turns yeah. them into a palette swap Kid <laughs> Boo, which is very upsetting that everybody else gets these really cool transformations. And then you know, here's Kid Boo for you. Yeah, for as yeah, unimaginative yeah, as go, it loser. is, that is directly lifted from Dragon Ball Online, which yeah, this game takes a lot from. It's not it's not the best, but they are taking directly from their. Source I just adaptation. wish they'd let you keep your clothes. That's all. I I agree. They, they just something been a way. something of your character. But like, as you were mentioning with the hub world, yes, they have a whole bunch of cool stuff. My big problem with it 
is like a lot of the quality of this. You can see the textures over here on the side look yeah, like they're stretched. They look like they've much been stretched from yeah. like a very small resolution image. I really appreciate the Easter egg, this being Pilaf's castle from Dragon Ball. They have a whole bunch of cool stuff from different time periods and series and here. And you can jump around and climb on all yeah. of it too, yeah. and eventually fly over it. Yeah, I would uh, assume once I can fly, traversing this area will be a lot easier. The fact that flying is not unlocked from the beginning, which is one of the things that I think everybody really wants to play with, is a little upsetting. Yeah, and I'm not. And it doesn't. I've it, seen no immediate. Like, here's how you fly. Like, no, like, there, there isn't. They give no fly. direct path to it. I'm and, not sure how you unlock it. Um, and the the thing that like really gets me is, it doesn't feel like taking away your ability to fly. Like, it, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like this is going to give you like Metroidvania esque. Oh, look, you have to find this guy by flying type stuff like you can only get here by flying and while that might be the case you can just lock off those areas right yeah like yeah so like oh come back here later we're closed right now yeah there, there might be areas that are limited to only flight obviously you can't go around yeah, like you can't go up to those little tournament areas up there actually no actually you can. actually you absolutely because, can because, because you yeah. teleport to them i was gonna say i'm gonna get to a teleporter guy i didn't know if there was one which is where i was but actually right even more upsetting now than thinking about it because like yeah, oh like, you could have flown up there it's like oh yeah. perhaps i need to go up there via flight yeah. right no, or no. maybe, maybe I just need to teleport to it. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, Look. this one. Yeah, <laughs> then you're up here and you can even jump off of this thing. Oh, yeah, you can here. jump off and be right back down. You land. Why, oh, why not just let them fly from the beginning? That's I, that's that's one big thing that I'm noticing right here and now. It's just like. It, it the the beta seemed like it was going to make sense of it. It doesn't look like it's been made sense of. Real quick thing about this though is uh, this has to do with the mindset of this of this game. You are going into this looking for an MMO experience because that is what you get. This is a game that uh, really relies on the grinding mentality. You are going for drops. You are beating up a bunch of weak dudes. You're doing repetitive stuff. They even have raid bosses. In yeah, this. they have raid bosses. They have different equipment and gear, and you can see the map has a bunch of different locations that people have. Just random quests will open Speaking up. Speaking of, we're gonna just go ahead and start a mission real quick. Sure. We're gonna do uh, some of the sensei stuff, which you couldn't do in the the beta. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Look, let's look at the teacher hey. stuff and how it differs from Xenoverse One. So one big thing, uh, jump up from Xenoverse One. In Xenoverse One, they appeared at random. You didn't know where they were so showing bad. up, when yeah, they were showing up, when? why they were showing up it was just a roll of the dice now every trainer has a distinct spot that they will always be at uh, once you unlock their availability uh, as you progress through the game you come to the school there'll be this little advancement test robot uh, and it'll tell you like you'll get a little notification on your screen that'll go like you've qualified for an advancement test uh, you go to him and you'll basically fight all of the trainers that are unlocked on this tier of advancement Krillin was one of the base ones I could get I just never finished his training makes sense okay um, when you train with them, you'll complete it. You'll get the move that it's about. Yeah, go, um, down, go down to lesson three there. Why not? Yeah, uh, but, and you'll get the little lessons. Uh, sometimes they unlock over time via the advancement mm -hmm. test, that kind of stuff. Like let's I jump. couldn't, I couldn't do scatter kamehameha right out of the gate. I had to do an advancement test first. Yeah, let's jump in and show off a little bit of the actual gameplay, which does not change a whole lot from Xenoverse One. But like I was mentioning earlier with the timing thing. Uh, and, and I think you'll show this off when you go to like, I think you need to talk to Supreme Kai yeah. or Elder Supreme Kai or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the Elder Kai. He's got some combo yeah, he knowledge he can drop on you. He teaches you some yeah. combos, which is cool. I'm glad they have somebody that teaches you these combos. Like, uh, when we discovered the fuckbox combo for Dumplin' and that was the only thing we did. Square, 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 triangle, triangle, square, 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 yeah. square triangle, triangle. And that was it ad nauseum forever until Super Armor fucked us up. Yeah. Uh, that's basically all we had to do. But in this one, there's a bit of, there's more timing to it. I also like that while you're learning the ability, you're actually having to use it. Yes. Yeah, like they give you a custom move set on the right. Yeah, so which are just all the Krillin stuff. moves I've learned so far, and those yeah. have been unlocking as I go through his lessons. And that makes sense, because, like, you know, he's your master, you should be using his techniques. That is neat, but it's that. also frustrating that I can't use my own custom build where I have a faster charge up box. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. fair enough. You have that and also um, the top left. You have to put yourself on your master's level, man. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> dumb yourself down. down a bit. The top left stats that you see, your key and stamina and health, is not indicative of your actual character. They give you yes. like a set number. Yeah, this, these are not my here. stats. Like this is. Like, it's like really just hey, try this move out, see how it works, and you'll maybe yeah. get it. Kills only work with the <laughs> yeah the move you're given. So sometimes when you get a move that's harder to hit with. How does that not count? There we go. <laughs> Keep at it. Oh, hold on, I gotta shift it. I can't just shoot him in the face no. with it. It's my whole thing. Now, kill seven of them. Yeah, come on. If you haven't done it right now, do it right again. So, um, those of you who played Xenoverse 1 will notice this is a stage from 1. It looks almost untouched. I don't think they did a lot with it because I've overmarked. I think a lot of the models seem very similar. 
to the ones they were using. A lot of the characters that are new, like Dodoria, Zarbon. Did, did, by Carlos the way, Dodoria, best looking model in the game yeah, by looks far, fantastic. I think. Yeah, fantastic. Like all the ones, the new characters they added for this game, which is not a lot, but the ones they did add do look exceptional. I, I still think the models that are from older characters, I'm not sure if they were changed. They kind of look very similar. Like this map, is I'll say everything parallel. looks a bit shinier. Yeah. Um, like I did, like they added some sort of like filter on it or there's, something. I, I'm, yeah, I, I'm not a game developer, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. There's um, there's like this little uh, luminous sheen that everyone kind of has. Like, and I'm wondering if that's to like mesh with Super's aesthetic. It might be because that's everything is very bright now. But then again, when you open up the game, it will not look like this. By the way, there is a feature in the game where you have to adjust oh, the game yeah, brightness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> right. I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah, we'll yeah. Go we'll show we'll that. that after this. But just let, let me know that the game I think looks better like this, and this is not how it looks out of the box. No, you like the default setting makes it look like it has this weird fog. Right? Yeah, yeah, like there's a fog over. Everything's just white. It's, uh, it's it was something that we discovered in the beta, but I guess is still the case in the box. Yes, yes. still it. Um, but there is, uh, as you can see, if you played Xenoverse 1, the combos are still pretty similar. There's a few more tighter elements to it. It seems to be a bit more free-flowing uh, at some point, but notice a lot of the combos end with you hitting them away. Like, yeah, so like, that you can't lock so you can't do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, like, like those... the, the highest combo I think I've ever been able to achieve or was able to achieve on the uh, stream was 11 to 12. That's and that's what I've seen almost par from the court aside from showcase videos. New enemy? Is it Krillin? It's Krillin. My sensei, no! Beat me with my own move. Hey, Show up. me what you've learned. So I already like this format more because the last one was it they just gave you the one move and you had to kill them with it, right? Something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, some Which little... still can sometimes be the case. Like sometimes you'll yeah. be like, yeah. beat me with this move. This won't count unless Fuck. you hit me with my move. Yeah. Uh, like I think it does extra damage actually. Yeah, because that, that, that is absurd. That did a ton of, a ton of damage. Yeah. Yeah. So they at least have scaled the training stuff to be a, a bit more accessible and. Oh, move! Can follow him. Oh. Uh, did it? Was there some reason you didn't do that? So you know, I'm the one who triggers when it goes up and back down. Like that's so, kind of cool. So I can I like do that. yeah. I actually one thing I do want to praise this game for is a lot of the new like ultras and supers and stuff they've introduced. I think are way smarter than some of this one ones. because you actually yes. have extra prompts to go through. Like it actually gives you a feel of control. There, there are extra yeah. prompts. There are extra inputs. Which Cineverse one did have a few that did that. Uh, but I feel like just by and large there've been a lot more. And it, and it was always very poor at explaining. Yes, I think that that is what this game has done more uh, a better job at doing is almost explicitly telling you go here to do this. The first game did not have that. It was you want to make a party. I don't know. Like you go to this kiosk. Good luck. Yeah, it was. Uh, people showed up at random. Random was like the key word for Xenoverse One. They mitigated a lot of that with this. Yeah, it, it feels like there's a lot less RNG. Uh, from what I understand, you can actually guarantee procs for events. Yes. PQs now? Yeah. That's how it seems to be. Every time that, I did the necessary, like, get the bonus thing, it, it triggered. Because that was one of the most unnecessarily frustrating things in Xenoverse 1, where you're playing through PQs trying to grind Dragon Balls or something. Yeah. Which was usually what you're grinding for. Or maybe mm. you're grinding for a specific move, like, yeah, you know, definitely Super, the, yeah, Super were, Vegeta. Yes. Oh my god, yeah, I spent three hours in Xenoverse 1 trying to get this one move. And, and sometimes, like, it, it asks you to do things in order to get the ultimate finish. Yeah. And sometimes you do everything properly, and then the ultimate finish uh, event won't trigger. Yes. yes. It was just a dice roll on whether or not the ultimate event that you did all of the recommended, like, all the things needed to access it, just sometimes it wouldn't happen. And then if the, and then if it did happen, there was another dice roll. If you would get the reward, if you would get anything, that. yeah, or yeah. anything. Now at least I've noticed that you at least get something every time. I have not gotten nothing. I've at least gotten some kind of item I can sell for a bunch of money or a material. I feel stuff. like um, for a lot of the outfits and moves, you have to be the one landing the killing blow. I've kind of noticed on that the person too. Who does it? Yeah. So they've definitely done some stuff to try and mitigate the randomness. Anyway, that's the end of Krillin's. Yeah, well, I've now mastered why don't, why don't we does. show off that thing you were telling me that was frustrating you to yeah, know? Yeah, show the... Well, first, yeah, first, first I want to show the, uh, yeah, the brightness first the filter. Thing. Okay, so let's so go, let's go to where it, like, yeah, yeah, we have it set to its brightest. Yeah. <laughs> Default uh, is here, yeah. where I feel like look there's, that, like... Look at that weird fog! Now yeah, there's, like, this, like weird, there's this weird mist like, over the screen. over everything. And everything just looks so drab and unappealing. Yeah, like this... It makes this world feel like there's a pollution problem here in Tokitoki City or something. 
Uh, Tauntaun it just, City. It, Tauntaun it, it, City. I'll say this. It doesn't look as bad as it did in the beta. Like, I don't know if they changed something about that. I don't think they touched I, it, honestly. Yeah, I, I remember it being, like, a lot worse. But then go back to the way it is now. Just, like, but yeah. like look at something obscenely colorful. Like, turn to the... Uh, turn yeah, over there to these here. characters over here. And then, like, yeah, keep oh, that yeah. in the background. All right, now switch the brightness back. Yeah, and you're going to see the, the boo is going to yeah. pop. Like, uh, much worse. this. Per personally prefer brightness all the way up. And now... Bam! Yeah, those bam. Look, look at that. so much better. Like that, that now I feel like I'm in a cartoon, a comic book, a manga, if you will. Um, <laughs> you feel like you're in an episode of Super. The anime, yes. yes. Like now everything feels bright, colorful, colorful and vibrant. Like, and I don't know why. Like, I can see maybe not brightness all the way up. I've seen arguments for like one or two pips down to be the best looking. Whatever. But, but, we but we up, think this looks great. Full yeah. up, I think it looks beautiful. Now another thing that was not available in the beta demo. Uh, is this uh, Elder Kai training Elder Kai's mode? training mode, where it's basically like a tutorial for the game. All right, uh, here, here's where we'll get into like how the timing is an interesting aspect, although also a fairly frustrating one. Uh, which one were you just showing like a little bit? Okay, so like here's like, having, like all like your basic like, hey, learn how to like here's what controls are, here's how to do knockdowns, here's how yeah, to do this, like yeah, other tutorial stuff, like, shit, basic stuff. So me being the pro I am was like, all right, well let's go all the way to advanced, <laughs> the hardest thing that you can do. Uh, and, like, I was figuring it would be, like, here's, like, all the combos. Like, here's memorize these combos kind of stuff. Yeah. Which seems to be true. However, just knowing the buttons is not all there is. There's also a distinct timing thing and that they don't tell you yeah. about. Yeah. And there's also a bit about this that's very frustrating. And that's the fact that when you smack the opponent away from you, sometimes they don't... Tr sometimes the game doesn't track it as well as you'd like No, it, there's a spatial component to this game that fluctuates its speed. Doing all that. Now, see, the only reason I'm able to do this, shit, I actually did that wrong, uh, is, because, <laughs> is because I was doing this for about, I would say, an hour last night, just on this alone, just trying to get these combos down. So I wasn't sure if this was what would unlock it. Why? Yeah, like for some reason he recovered. Yeah. But for some reason, like it's the timing of the enemy is not consistent. And he just also, dodged that. Also, yeah. the triangle circle thing does not always trigger. That's that's what happened there. Actually, like that. It read that it's just triangle, even though I definitely hit both buttons with my thumb. Maybe it's just very precise. God, no, so before the complaints of get good come in, if you've played a fighting game, the error is on you. You can usually figure it out. This seems to have a random interval of the enemy recovering at different times that really throws you off. Oh, you, you hit it like great the first couple of times. There we go. Skip a step there, <laughs> but you you landed you I, landed a combo. Yeah, you did you did something. And look, and Krillin's that just triangle to circle is such a pain in the ass to get. That is very hard to hit. Like triangle circle going from that, you hit your whole thumb. And on the then butt. you have to hit over X instantly afterwards. Yes. And so the over X, if you do forward X, doesn't or count. even slightly forward X. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're, the system is so tight to this oh, and thing. Just missing that square. Yeah. And this is not. I mean, you could maybe memorize a lot of this, but this is tiny. Because a lot of this is like you have to even know how they're going to react. And that triangle circle didn't go, so hey, guess what? That works. Everything, Came out. everything, yeah. everything I did. And there's... And tracking is sometimes kind of rough. Try to analyze what went wrong. Get it? So yeah. Try to uh, analyze what went wrong. It's the controller first. <laughs> yeah. It's the fact that the triangle circle is not a good button. Really and you that? can't remap buttons in this game. Yeah. Uh, I thought, I think you can do different buttons. You can do different button layouts. There's, uh, there's options. There's an ABC, I think. But I don't know if you can customize every single one. Yeah, because I'm wondering if you can really make, happen? like, you know, in, in, in a good fighting game, you can, like, you know, map everything. two buttons to a single button. Yeah, like, I, I wonder if maybe you could put, like, a map or, L1 like, or Yeah, something. you know, map triangle and R or, yeah. I'll triangle check out the buttons. Cool, there you go. But yeah, let me see if I can, um... I think controller controller should have like an ABC, I believe. I don't know if you can... Yeah, no. Nope. Yeah, so... Oh, and look, triangle and circle don't change on any of those. You have to hit that. So yeah, no matter what you do. Yeah. Neat. So now there's... But hey, there's one combo. Let's try another. I, I, that, this is just like a small yeah. tangent, but I think like, you know, the days of... Oh man, the timing on that now. Uh, the timing on this one is really yeah. But the fact that he recovered there is kind of annoying. Yeah. Uh, 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 back to my little tangent. Sure. I yeah. feel like not being able to map your own controls is kind of unreasonable at this stage. Why isn't there like a... Because you can do it on almost any PC game. Yeah, I know, because I know, this is out on PC as well, so this problem might not exist on it the PC version. It might not. 
This is the one I had the most trouble with. Yeah, because you have to that because timing this up this yeah and then, this like, like the other because yeah. getting the that move to hit is almost impossible because it's timing is so weird. Because you sometimes will get him and in the right motion. Yeah, you're now, left, now bear left in mind, we aren't pro gamers. Yeah. I'm sure there are some people out there that oh, are yeah. like, oh, whatever, baby mode. Yeah, I'm but sure there are people out there who've done that. And like, and this is advanced. This is the hardest like tech stuff that's in the game. But like, I speak, I've, I've heard rumor, and this was just like theorized, so it might not be true at all. But I've heard someone say like, maybe you have to clear Elder Kai's like training to get your flight license. If this is what you have to do to fly in the overworld, like this is all just rumor. I'm not going to substantiate yeah. any of that. So that could be entirely false. Like more than likely is because this seems egregious. Like I have a feeling this is just side stuff for people who want to do like super tech Perfectionist. You know, the people that go through and five star everything in like the Marvel versus Capcom oh, yeah. Street Fighter combo. That stuff, is do that stuff is at least, no, no, that stuff's doable. I can do that. Stuff. Yeah. This is not yeah. very well, yeah. but I can. I'm, I'm someone who has gone through most of like the training in like Street Fighter and Guilty Gear stuff, like the little like super advanced tutorial stuff, and do those and like they're hard. Like I'm not gonna act like it's so easy, baby mode. But like this has made me more mad than those have. Because it seems to be some it's random a, interval of recovery that the AI has. Yeah, it's this weird specific <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's really this weird, like very specific amount of timing and the controller not doing the exact the controller not reading exactly yeah. what you're trying to do or you being like a fraction off on your timing. Well, and it feels like for this, it's not just a timing thing, it's like a visual cue that the camera doesn't let you really see. Like, because to know when I want to do start charging my up square, like I have to base that on how far away Krillin is. And yeah. if I don't teleport, like you know, do that uh, side X at the exact same time every time, that timing is never going to be the same. Yeah. So like, it's not a, like muscle memory, unless it's muscle memory of three stages and making sure they are all frame perfect, which seems insane for something that might be required for something in the game. Wrong. Yeah. Now that being said, I highly doubt that they have the flight license. I don't think that. Yeah. I, I almost, I almost guarantee you yeah, that it's I'm going to be something that you unlock in the story mode, yeah. or it's going to be something you unlock at the end of the story mode as really like a here's your reward for finishing the story. Here's your flight license. Just eventually squash this. Uh, I think it was confirmed that something with placement in the world tournament did result in getting a flight license during the demo. Because they were doing tournaments, and then after the tournaments were done, people were flying in the city. So Which is also okay. kind of weird, because that, that means... That is a weird bar. Because that means well, it, you, have to, be you have to be online yeah. to get your flying license. This, Which, this, this game, is a primarily online game, so it's not like, entirely unheard of. However, for a single-player gamer like me, the kind of person that isn't a social gamer, I like playing a lot of single-player stuff. Uh, even in, like, multiplayer games, like with Overwatch, I don't typically like playing with friends, really because I actually find that to be more of a distraction and more frustrating in the yeah. long run. Speaking of frustrating, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, yeah no problem. Get, I'm getting mad uh, at this uh, as we talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, just, uh, but going along with that, while we might have had quite a bit of critique over, like, the actual timing and fluidity of all that, I do think it's good that they're adding in levels of skill to actually, no, yeah. you know, like make it so that if you are really, really good at this game and can get that timing down like that, it gives you a, it gives you a leg up, and I'm all for that. That's yes. the thing is like if you if you put your time into this game, it does seem to pay out. As in like you are rewarded for being that it's, good. It's not all just about your numbers anymore. Yeah. Even though it's still a lot about your numbers. And that's the thing that hey. turns me off the most is that this game is, as I said, it's an, it's an action RPG where your stats. Are are a huge part of any fight you're gonna be in. So say you can land that combo perfectly, if your numbers aren't good enough, you might not beat it in a time limit for a quest. Yeah. So like that's still Speaking like- Speaking of which, time like, limits on quests really? still a thing. Very yes. unfortunate. Yeah, but, go, go ahead and uh, go to the quest station. Well, really, really like I actually wanted to bounce off another thing you guys oh, said. Oh, sure. Speaking of numbers, so I'm the kind of person who likes to decorate my character and make them look however oh, I yes. want them to look. Yeah, this is uh, very cool. And I haven't really messed with this a lot, so- I, I know uh, how to do how to work. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've made one piece from this. Um, so now we can, like... Go ahead and open up the yeah, I, equipment. I, I do just, yeah, really quick want to show. Uh, equipment in this uh, has stats on it. Still. So, so you know, my Ginyu Force White makes my stamina a little bit better and my Key Blast better while making my basic attack strike, Super's health key, everything worse. I could swap that around, wear different things, uh, like, you know, get different, like, extreme, like, boosts and debuffs and stuff like that. And maybe, like, you know, hey, I want these buffs, but I don't like how this looks or whatever. I could just go ahead and go over, Scott, skip and a hop uh, over here to the clothing mixing ah, shelf. Ah, Milf Bowman, nice. Welcome, <laughs> friend. <laughs> uh, and be like, hey, you know what? Fuse this item and, you know, give me also the stats from 
Uh, let's say also the Sayuki. Yeah, uh, you could get, so you could, you could double yeah. down on these slots, like these stats. Yeah. Say like, cool, I don't care about my health and stamina. I don't yeah. care about these ones. So but I just don't like how the Sayuki costume looks. Or that, yeah. And you just and like, you want those stats, you want to wear it. So be like, hey, put them together, mix them with, uh, I don't know exactly what the, the... The Hercule badges, I've noticed anything with a higher star rating tends to actually up the... Tends to make it better. The stats that I, that I saw. All right, well then let's throw a Hercule badge on there. So mix it, give you... spend a thousand, or spend 10,000 zenny. Bada boom, I get Q-Bang Q level three. Yeah, so now you see these. it's very similar okay. to the health and stamina boost. You took a dip in key, but now it kind of neutralizes the really big penalty on basic and key blast. I haven't found the exact formula, so that's a little irritating to get the exact numbers you want. But at least there is something here, like kind of a, a fashion slot. So what, I, so what I'm I hearing, can... not only is there a thing for those that really like timing in a fighting engine, but there's also something for people who fucking love min-maxing. Yes. Yes, this so game. Now, not now, gonna lie, not really ticking a lot of my boxes. <laughs> no, this yeah. is this has a lot of MMO quirks, and that's what I want to highlight the most. Yeah. Anybody who thinks this is a fighting game, it's not. So now, just so it's clear, the QQ Bang is now the stats that my game is reading. It is not paying any attention to any of my clothes. My clothes, stat buffs and debuffs are that's, ignored. That's nice. I yeah. do I do appreciate that, that you can make the clothing stats worthless. Yeah. I know that was one of the biggest complaints, so I'm glad they listened. So props to you, props to the developers. They actually put in a pretty cool feature. I do Also, like you that. can attach accessories. I'm not because I want my guy's devil horns to be showing. And when he wears scouters, I think it looks really weird, the symmetry of yeah, the ear. Yeah, the ear just kind of disappeared. So I had to cut it off. So I've just made him not wearing an accessory right now, but do want to show off that those also exist. Yeah, uh, I, I do and, really and like they do that. do affect stats ever. Um, yeah, now we aren't going to show off any of the story mode here. We'll save all of that for our Let's Play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, our, our big playthrough will have us going through the entire story as much as we can of the game. That'll be dropping at 3 p.m. Central every day for a bit, so you can check that out here on our channel. Greetings. Any other stuff you wanted to point out for the game? Any other, like, because I want to praise some stuff really quick. Yeah, I let's... love these other uh, places. Like, you are just a capsule corp yeah. where you can do Saiyan missions. If you are, to, you can uh, go to Freeza spaceship yeah, and join Guru's house. Army that's, stuff. that's your home, yeah. right? Yeah. Actually, I wonder yeah, if... Yeah, go home. <laughs> I wonder if I can do a mission here, because if I can, I can show up. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, then I can just talk about it. Oh, that's or, right. You were telling me about like little side jobs or something like yeah. that that were kind of Okay, annoying. so any race can do this. Uh, apparently, if you are the specific race that correlates to the mission type, you will get extras. I suspect this is what gives you your transformations, uh, but again, cannot mm -hmm. confirm anything. Um, again, that might have something to do with the story as well. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, but anyway, like... If Nail had a question mark over his head, I would have a mission here, and basically what it would be, I'll just go ahead and show you what the mission is, because it's pretty much exactly the same copy paste uh, from a Everyone from a needs. parallel quest. Um, oh, really? Yes. Okay. That's too bad. Um, because all the Namekian missions are. I hope you like those collect Dragon Ball missions. Are all Because that's those? what they are. Oh no! And that lets me show you. Hey, guess this really annoying sound <laughs> that is. Uh, collecting the Dragon Balls. Uh, we talked about this a bit on the beta, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, but just to highlight real quick. Throw Dory in your party. If you yeah, sure. show off that nice model. Leave it. And uh, something I'll show off for the people yeah. who pre-order. Hey. So let's get Goku Buraku. Black in here. Anything. Yeah, there's um, there's just a lot of like, uh, he's going to show off something that I think could have easily been mitigated should... We, the, a lot yeah. of our complaints with the first game were like, did they play a lot of this story? Because this just stuff gets so repetitive. That's and very simple things, simple stuff that you think you could fix. This has to do mostly with the I get audio that, mixing. Like an MMO esque game, it's going to require grinding and stuff like that. That's not my problem. Here's look my at that Dodoria model. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. that model is fucking beautiful. awesome. Here's my problem with this. I hope you like this Dragon Ball sound. Please collect all the Dragon Balls around the area. That goes for this whole mission. That beeping. Does not stop. Doesn't stop so long as there's a Dragon Ball on the ground. And even when oh, you're carrying it, that radar's gonna go off. Yeah. Hey, you're carrying it. Return Dragon to Ball. the time machine. Yo. With any there's Dragon a Dragon Ball, Ball really close to you. It's almost like you're holding one. Yeah, that's... Uh, raspberry, that is, our uh, eternal uh, nemesis returns. That's a decision I think is... Raspberry. Come on, Grant, show off the combos that you were learning. You just want to do it. <laughs> Hold on, I want to scrap these Dragon Balls. We got it. And both of you. Couldn't you tell? Yeah, I was <laughs> busy looking at the ground. There's a little bit of beeping going on. Like, you should know that the Dragon Balls are very nearby. Now, with the Dragon Balls are away, the Dragon Ball is be beeping. beeping. Thank God, Please, stop. Yeah, there's Dragon a lead balls. box in the uh, <laughs> child <laughs> machine that just takes them out yeah, of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, do So, every Namekian mission is a Dragon Ball collecting mission. So far, I've done four. They have all been this exact mission. Yeah, this mission exactly. I played this one, too. 
like, it, it, well, not Definitely this exact mission. Out. Instead, instead of uh, like Gold Raspberry and Goldo, it's Frieza, Zarbon, Ginyu. Same framework, out. different. Wow. Different. Layer. I kind of expected it to be like, oh, you're you're just gonna play through like a mini version of the Frieza saga or something. That's what different. I was hoping it was. It was labeled as Defend Namek. So I thought it would be like I'd be dropped down here and there would just be random aliens and it'd be like a wave. But like, no, it's just wave-based combat balls. stuff. But no, it's grab the dragon balls. And it has been every single time. That's a shame. And the other other thing that I also was like, so this is a copy-pasted uh, parallel quest that, that is available in the counter. Yes. All the parallel quests from Xenoverse One have are been there. copy-pasted to this game. Are there are, are there new ones though? Yes, there are. Yeah, there are they do have new ones. But I, they feel like peppered in. Like it is not a 50-50. Half of these are old and half of them are new. It's just a like, shit ton it's, it's of not, old it, ones. It's not we've then... doubled the old ones. It's here's all the new ones. And like maybe like if my ratio is so far from like I think the 30 I have unlocked now, it's like here's let's say 100 new ones and like 20 or uh, 100 old ones and like 20 new ones. Yeah. Like it yeah. feels like way lopsided and here is a lot of recycled content from Xenoverse 1. That said, this might, this might be mitigated by because this is an MMO format game. Keep in mind that there is... End game is where those shine. Yeah. So this might open up a whole bunch of stuff after the story. You might be like, here's like 50 quests that are all completely new. So that might be what it has in the store. But for right now, for the 10 hours cumulative we've explored, it seems a lot of stuff from like the uh, overall consensus. Xenoverse 1, few little upgrades, equals Xenoverse 2. So yeah. it, basically, long story short, if you like Xenoverse 1, you'll like Xenoverse 2, yes. maybe even a bit more. Because uh, I do feel like while there are certain things that like, like I mentioned, like with the timing of mm -hmm. some of the combos being a little weird, uh, some of the quests being a little samey, uh, which has been kind of a thing lately. Like with Mafia 3, Mafia 3 was also very much like, run here, do these same exact quests over and over again until you finish this area. So lame. Then run to this area, do these same quests over and over again. Uh, which is a shame, and I, I really hope that if they make a Mafia 4... Yeah, there's a different trend here. But, yeah, it's, it's just a lot of samey stuff over and over again, but it's a Xenoverse game. It's exactly what you are kind of figuring it to be. Yeah. That's, I, that's that's basically where we land on this one. Yeah, it is very like, hey, it's, it's did more you like it's, Xenoverse. Yes, it's more already the same. Some more. It's more of the same, and you can play as me. So it's the best game of the year. <laughs> Buy it now. You Love go. you guys. Have a good day. <laughs> I'm voice number fifteen.